Hi everyone, I'm Austin with Full Line Ag, and today behind me we have something special. We have a Salford Halo HSD, which is a high speed disc, and we have our rep Glenn here who's gonna walk us around it and tell us a little more about it. So this is a Halo high speed disc. So high speed meaning we need to run this at a minimum of eight and up to 12 miles an hour, okay? So the whole concept of this is to actually cut and dislodge material and it'll go to the right on the first set of blades and it'll take it back on the second set of blades. The rubber rollers, the autoco rollers will be there for starting to pack it down so it won't, you're not gonna create any, like any, any erosion, okay? So now this guy weighs this is a 20 footer, it'll weigh about 18,500, 19,000 pounds ish. Okay. So, compared, so this is on independent rubber torsion mounts, every one of them. So, every one of them has a, has a rubber torsion block. So, that's going to create your action and reaction on the shanks or on the, on the discs themselves. So, that's your stone protection, that's everything. Okay. So, high-speed disc it is a high-speed disc but we do some things quite a bit differently um, number one we we control depth on the front wheels and we can control depth on the rolling on the, on the finishing package okay we can run each one individually because we control our depth on this depth stop right here this is your main depth stop okay on that side there's another depth stop which will control the amount of downforce we have on the rubber rollers. Okay, it makes sense? So we can be running this at three inches deep. We can be running the finishing package, let's say at one inch. Or we can run the front at four inches and we can run the back at two inches, whatever you want. Competition doesn't do that. They have to do shims, they've got to do a bunch of different things to get it running in relation to one another. Okay, we run our tilt, our, our attack angle right here on hydraulically. So depending on what the hitch height is to get it level, we run it all on the attack angle there. Okay. These machines, as they get bigger, have a tendency of in really hard ground of floating up because you're only on other high speed discs, all you're using is weight to keep it down in the ground. What we're doing is we can run it either in float where we're using the weight of the machine to hold it in ground, or we can actually have those wing circuits and have it in an active downforce. So what we do is we use a consistent downforce with accumulator right here and a relief valve right here. So you can actually have it set up that it, it will go and if you hit a rock, it's still going to go over relief and it's going to go through the accumulator or we can turn it right up where it'll be rigid and it'll bounce over it and away you go. Not so much like these short winged ones, you're going to see it some, but it's more in 35s and 40s where you're going to start getting the wings to float up. Okay. Um, this tires, these are only 445s. These are what we use to pull it around with. Um, it will come with 600 floaters. I mentioned the blades are 22 inch. Not everyone's do. We only will get them with 22 inch blades. We can get them with smooth front and notched rear or all notched, your, your choice. Um, back to the finishing package, either the rubber autoco rollers with the scrapers or we can get to a spiral steel cage, your choice. It uh, really doesn't matter which way it is, um, personal preference. going to mention is that once you start getting past you're going to know your speed limit on what you can run it because what's going to start happening is you're going to get so much dirt getting thrown off that front disc it'll start plowing here and you're going to start ridging that's your limiting factor on speed 
the, the, the just so you know the bearings are all their seven lip seals just like we've got on all of our i series these are all rebuildable our competition isn't most of them are just throwaways so you can rebuild one of these you got a lot of acres on this already this one probably has about five thousand this is this is this is the second year of this is our second year of running this one um the other thing i was going to mention so this is high speed disc this is not vertical tillage this is not vertical tillage in any way shape or form a yellow one a blue one they may call a high speed disc vertical tillage it is not none this is high speed disc where all we're doing is we're taking a disc we're moving the dirt one way we're moving it back done we're creating at the end of the day we're creating a plane where the bottom of the blade is and long story short when we get into a, a high speed disc versus a true vertical tillage in that 2100 that 2100 vertically is fracturing so dirt alive. on the 2100 this is a true vertical tillage machine this is one of our this is a flagship of our tillage line this is true vertical tillage with the coulters running true vertical whereas on the hsd we're running it laterally so vertical true vertical tillage on a high speed disc lateral completely different machines at the end of the day you're going to get dirt flowing about halfway up the blade and that's what we want because we want it to hit the next row so it's certain it's breaking it up same thing like same thing with our 5200s like our big heavy they're, 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 they're for breaking they're for breaking grass that's how we need them to run and it's the same it's the same situation on this like i said the big thing independent independent depth control of downforce versus depth accumulators for positive downforce all the time that's another big one no one's doing that Perfect. Well, thank you very much for all, right. all the help Thanks, and guys. everything today. And yeah, 